We're graduating this year, but before we leave this place for good, we're checking out some of the best food spots in the area. I'm Jonah. And I'm Shannon. And this is Rub Before, before grad. grad. So we made it to Rise Above, which touts itself as not only an entirely vegan restaurant and bakery, but also the very first of its kind in the Niagara region. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with vegan food besides a couple plant-based burgers, so I'm very excited to see what they have in store for us. It's usually the people that say they never change That's when you told me that the storms will come We just gotta learn it, dance in the rain Then you said So what's your experience with vegan food? Um, my experience with vegan food is pretty vast. I actually have a roommate that's vegan, so I've made anything from like vegan vanilla cake, I made things with aqua faba, which is the water, and the chickpeas is how you make like the meringue. I've made things like scrambled tofu. I've been to a whole bunch of different vegan places. I've been here a couple of times. I really enjoy vegan food. It's really yummy, very good for you, but also everything in moderation, right? That's when you told me that you'd always be there for me And I'm always coming back to the one I call home Yeah, yeah, you're the only constant thing in my world, in my world. When there's no one left around, it's just me It's just you and me, baby, baby I know that change is just a part of this life Wow, that's great. All right, it's time for another session of ratings. We'll start again with food. So what do we think? Um, I think the food was definitely, I think overall, I'd give it a four. I would say that too. I think the appetizer was very strong. Oh, it's very and good. so was the dessert. It was just the mains. I think both of them were so lackluster. It felt like there was like one aspect, like it could have been a sauce or a flavor that was just missing from both dishes. Other than that though, like they were fine. They weren't like gross. The way I feel about it is I would give specifically the main somewhere close to a three because I think it's like good enough to be like, oh, a solid dish, but yeah. it's not something I would really look for to eating. My rating comes from someone who doesn't have a big background in vegan food. I find myself comparing it to typical meat dishes. I don't really have the same palate that vegan eaters have. And because of that, I might be judging it a bit harshly. So maybe it would appeal more to someone who's more used to consuming these types of foods. But as I said before, mushrooms were on point and that cheesecake was Phenomenal. Strawberry milkshake, best thing I've ever had in a very long time. I definitely would order like five of them if I could. He let me try some of it and just that one sip was enough to be like, that is good. <laughs> Unironically, one of the best milkshakes I've had. Really? Speaking of all this food in general, it does come at a price. Quite expensive for what we were getting. My dish was in the 20s and it was not even that big of a portion. I think it kind of emulated a Thai dish. And I think if I went to a Thai restaurant, I would have gotten way more for much less. I'd say the same thing. I got a sandwich, but the sandwich didn't come with a side. Like I had to order the side separately and the sandwich was 15 and the size is five so you're not spending $20 already. The food is only like three out of five and then you're charging $15 for it. I'm not even getting a side. Overall, we're not saying it's bad food. Uh, for the most part, they were hits, but we just want to caution that, you know, it might be a little bit more on the expensive end. Anyways, on to the service. The service was really good. I think um, she was nice. Yeah, she was nice. I thought the first time she was like, wow, it must have sucked. And it was like, the plate was wiped clean. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's funny. She was friendly and she yeah. 
was able to give us nice recommendations, and she did go through like a decent thought process of yeah. like, oh, I have my own personal favorites, but in terms of overall mm, favorite, it might be something yeah. different. So I appreciated the energy for sure. No, just in comparison to last time, we have to give it a four. At least for me, I think I would just give it a four. Yeah, I don't think anyone can top Danny. I mean, I think Danny yeah. is like the ultimate server. Like, I think Danny is the five, and then <laughs> the we're only on episode two, everybody. Yeah. But yeah. I Zero guess that's what Danny. we will say for yeah. service then. As for atmosphere, amazing. I think it was nice too. Yeah. It's not a lot of space they're working with. They had with. like cute, the cute, uh, the clock paintings, like spray paint of like the name of the restaurant, salt and pepper shakers that were two owls, dogs in a basket, two cats. I also like the exposed brick on one side. That was really nice. Yeah. So oh. overall, cozy vibes. So I'd say, I'd say four. Yeah, I'd say four as well. Yeah. So in terms of final thoughts, pretty good restaurant. Yeah. If you like vegan food, you would probably like this place. Try it, and if you like it, then great. And if it's not for you, well, it's not for you. Yeah. And with that being said, thank you all for watching, and we will see you at our next meal. Mm -hmm.